Welcome shave fans. For today's shave of the day, I'm going to be using one of the Tiki Bar Soaps seasonal scent shooters. This one is apple pie with warm maple and butter. And that's exactly what it smells like. It's a nice uh, strong scent, but of course not overpowering. And uh, wow, it just smells great. And since we've had snow the last couple of days, I thought that that would be a great scent to try. The other thing I am checking out, and this is a shave lather bowl that I got from Vanulay Soaps. And while it is not the most attractive thing, the um, really cool part is the texture inside. You can see how textured that is. It just whips a lather up. So I'm very happy with that. If I were to make a, a change or a suggestion, it would be not to change the size, but to take the, the top rim and just bring it up another half an inch or so, so that uh, you get, it's easier to keep the soap down in the bowl. As it is, I end up, uh, even with a small brush, putting soap up over the edge a bit. And so it would be nice. And uh, I'm using this little brush, little synthetic brush with the aluminum handle again. Uh, I just really am enjoying this little brush. Works great. So I will get started here. Add a little water to my face. Getting it on my face, the apple really starts to come out. Just a good, really good fall winter scent. Mm. I really like the idea of her scent shooters too, because you know it's not like a full giant puck, and uh, for seasonal scents. I typically, you know, I'm not going to use like five, eight ounces, whatever, you know, on a big puck usually. So I appreciate having the ability to pick up, you know, a good amount of soap. I think there's three ounces in here. Maybe it's two, two or three. Looks like three to me if I had to guess. Um, and uh, so good amount of soap. It'll last a good, you know, a good season's worth of shaves if you were to use it. Mm. And you can see that the uh, Tiki Bar soaps, the base is a... Is a Really nice base. It forms a nice, you know, rich, luxurious lather. For the razor today, I'm going to be using my Mercur, um, and I redid the handle. This is the Mercur Progress, so it's an adjustable razor, and I took off that ugly, nasty plastic handle, and I 3D printed one, and uh, this is the size that I settled on, um, although I printed off five or six different versions of it, but... Uh, that's the nicest one that I like. For the blade today, I'm using the Dorco Prime, the new Dorco blade. And this is my second shave with it. And I've got the uh, setting at about a three and a half of five. All right. 
there's the first pass. I'll uh, finish off my shave with a couple more passes, maybe some cleanup, and then we'll come back and talk about the soap, the razor blade, anything else that we need to chat about. So that ended up being a nice close shave. I had to uh, adjust the razor down a bit. Uh, I had it, I think, a little too high for that blade, which is why, even though I didn't feel like I did anything wrong here and there where it started to get weepers, still it uh, brought them out. You know, I may have had some sort of a little bump there or something, and just having the razor a little too aggressive for that blade which I think feels like it's a nice sharper, you know, it's sharper blade. Um, having it too aggressive on my face was probably, uh, well, lesson learned. Probably a little too aggressive for my face. So I turned it down to about a two and a half, so one notch. And uh, it seemed to be a lot more comfortable after I did that. Okay, so the uh, Tiki Bar Soap Apple pie with warm maple and butter is oh, just a great scent and uh, it's a great soap base nice and slick I like the fact that it's uh, slick enough and it leaves some slick residual so I can go back if I need to and uh, you know do a little bit of cleanup without having to add a whole extra you know a, a more soap if, you know Next thing to talk about, uh, this is the Vanule Shave Bowl. And I'll show what it looks like there. It's definitely, like I said, not the most attractive thing that I've seen. But, man, does it perform. And, you know, it's like a hard resin plastic. And uh, so, with its size, I'm definitely going to be pairing it with this and taking that on trips with me. And I've just been using it the last couple of days and uh, I've really enjoyed using it. And this little brush, like I said, wow, I'm really enjoying it. It's basically feels like a plissant style knot is what it feels like on the face. So, yeah, but it's got tons of backbone. So it's not like one of the floppy plissant knots. So. I have really been enjoying it, and it's been what I wanted to shave with since I got it. So, they're like four bucks and change on eBay. You, you'll have to wait a few weeks for them to show up because they come from China. But, man, check them out. They're listed as a, as a silver tip badger with, um, they call them stainless metal handle. But... It's faux badger and a aluminum handle, so not stainless steel. There is a badger version with a stainless steel handle, but none of the companies that sell from China to America offer it. But I think Steve the Daily Shaver got ended up getting um, a version that had that stainless steel handle and the actual badger knot. I know he also has this one too with the uh, aluminum. So, great little travel brush, um, inexpensive, you know, gift brush if you want to get somebody started in wet shaving, that kind of a thing. So, I really like it. The Merker Progress is a really a great razor. <clears throat> Adjustable, so you can tune it to your face. 
um, nice and hefty. And uh, as soon as you get rid of the just atrocious knob that they include on it and uh, put something more attractive on it, then it's a, just a beautiful razor. So, and uh, I think I got mine. No, I know where I got it. I got it at uh, jet.com. Uh, which is, you know, kind of the new wannabe Amazon. And they had the best deal going. So check them out. And I'm not sure if they still have them or not, but uh, take a look and see. Uh, it definitely is a great razor. And you can pick them up pretty affordably. So check that out. All right. Well, I got a good close shave. I hope you do too.